Hi everyone, I'm Rob Horlacher from Project Sandbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Blender and Inkscape to OpenShot. So, the first thing that you want to do to connect Blender and Inkscape to OpenShot is you want to go to the Project Sandbox website. So you can do that by going to services on the library homepage and clicking project sandbox at the bottom of that list under services. After that, you'll want to go into resources and then the freely available um, and open source programs. From there, you'll be able to find a link to Blender right here. So if you click on that, you can go through the installation process by obviously clicking on the page and following more or less the same steps that I showed you how to uh, install OpenShot. Um, Inkscape, under image, you can see Inkscape right there, and you would go through a very similar process once again. Once both those programs are installed on your computer, you just need to open OpenShot. From there, you would go into edit and then go to preferences right there. That'll take you to a screen that will allow you to manipulate how OpenShot actually functions. So if you look on this very first general tab, you'll see two options right here. One is Blender Command Path, and one is Advanced Title Editor Path. So the Blender Command Path is obviously how you would want to hook up Blender to OpenShot. So what we need to do to do that is to click this browse button next to this text box here. And then what you need to do is you need to find the executable Blender file in all of your computer. It's a little easier to do than it sounds like. So if you didn't modify where Blender actually saved to, it should more or less belong in the same place on your computer, at least if you have a Windows computer. So for me, that's under Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender. And then once I'm in Blender, I have to find this file called blender.exe. The exe is what you're going to be wanting to look for. So if I click on that and hit open, you can see the Blender is now added here. We need to do the same thing in order to get Inkscape added. And that's what you would put in this advanced title editor here. So to add Inkscape, we'll just go to Browse. Um, go to Program Files once again. Inkscape. The next step is to click on this bin folder. And then you can see Inkscape.exe here. Make sure you're not clicking Inkview.exe because it won't give you the same functionality. But we can click on Inkscape.exe, hit open, and then we've connected both of those to OpenShot. So now, what I can actually do is go to Title and Animated Title, and this will pop up with a whole bunch of animated titles that I can use and manipulate. Or I can click on my title. And then once I click on one of the templates, I can click on that use advanced editor now. And what will actually happen is that it's going to bring up the Inkscape program to modify this little text box. But that's all you have to do to actually add uh, Inkscape and Blender to OpenShot. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that it was fairly clear all the steps that you have to do to actually add Blender and Inkscape. Um, the most difficult part of it for you will probably be trying to find just where those EXE files exist on your computer. But it, like I said, if you didn't modify where Blender and Inkscape actually get saved to on your computer, it should more or less work out for you. But if you have any questions on how to do any of what I just said, please feel free to contact me just on the Project Sandbox webpage. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one if you haven't watched anything else, or I hope that this workshop just worked out for you. If it doesn't, though, once again, you know where to get a hold of me. Thank you very much, and have a good day.